Welcome to the MoneyShow.com video network. My guest today is Stuart McPhee. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you, Tom. Well, you talk a lot and teach people about having a trading plan, and one of the most important ingredients you feel is the psychology of trading, which most, frankly, I would believe most novice traders don't even consider starting out. Absolutely not. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think the last thing we consider when we start trading is how our mind will play a, a role in our trading success. And I think only by trading and actually making some mistakes and losing money do we fully appreciate how our mind plays such a vital part in our success. And I think it boils down to one thing. Um, the majority of trading decisions, if not all the trading decisions we need to make, are counterintuitive. Well, this is a real challenge to us because all throughout our life, in fact, throughout the history of man, we've relied so much on our instincts. And in fact, humans have evolved over years through our instincts. So we very much rely on our instincts and everything we do every day, we rely on our instincts. Trading, you cannot do that. Everything we have to do is against our instincts. It, it is counterintuitive. So clearly that leads us to think that discipline and adhering to what we have to do rather than what we want to do is just probably one of the most important attributes successful traders have. And I think when people start trading, they think trading is easy money. How hard can buying and selling be? Really, that's all it comes down to. But trading might be the hardest easy money there is. Um, and it all again comes down to that counter intuitive uh, thing with trading. And that's why discipline and so many other attributes required of us. But uh, discipline to me is a, is a key one. And, and don't you find also too that some people, the psychology is so, it's such an individualized thing that some people think they should be starting out in Forex, but their psychology is really better to be stock traders and, and vice versa? Absolutely. Um, and th that's such a critical thing because so many people trade really what I think is the wrong instrument. They trade the wrong product simply because they're not suited to perhaps that particular type of market. And so many different markets out there have different levels of risk. And all of us here have a different tolerance to risk. Um, so if all our risk tolerance is different, yet risk and managing risk is such a vital part of what we do, that clearly leads us to believe that we can't all trade the same markets. So many people do trade the wrong things, I think. And also some instruments move so quickly, their prices move so quickly, that if we're not mentally agile and experienced and disciplined enough, we just can't keep up. And we're just constantly following and making the wrong decisions. And that's why I think some grounding in a simpler market for years to build the foundations of successful trading, to build upon and to mature our attributes like discipline and patience and many others I could list. I think it's a great starting point. It's building the blocks, laying the foundation then to explore other markets uh, as we are perhaps uh, a little bit more experienced. So you'd recommend somebody start out with a little slower moving sort of strategy, not just uh you know, jump into intraday FX cash trading. Absolutely. Uh, when we start out, we really don't have much of an idea of what we are doing. And if you're trading something like stocks, you have the time to, because stock prices generally don't move that quickly, uh, certainly compared to other instruments. So we have the time to think about things and work through our plan and actually execute the trade, whether it be entry or exit. Some other instruments move so quickly that if we delay and hesitate and not really sure what we're doing, that the consequences can be devastating. And that uh, is not only devastating money-wise, but it's devastating up here thinking, I really can't do this. But if we started off something easier, we build some confidence, we build some uh, you know, competence, we develop some comfort in what we're doing and some experience, we lay those foundations. And I'm a big believer in laying foundations, the building blocks, other markets we can move on to quite easily. Okay. Thank you very much, Derek. You're very welcome. And thanks for watching the MoneyShow.com video network.